Welcome back guys. Today's test drive is this 1967 Chevrolet Nova wagon. This thing's pretty sweet. 350 under the hood. Looks like we got AC, aluminum radiator, power steering. Looks like power brakes. And of course we'll be taking this ride down the road. Going over the flaws. That way you know what you're getting before you get here. Disc brakes in the front. There's detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Financing and shipping is available on all of our rides. And if you don't mind, hit subscribe. That helps me out quite a bit. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Just looking around the interior, you can see the new door panels. It's got new door handles on it. You got pretty new carpet in this one. Interior looks awesome. Speakers in the back, headliner is huge and it looks great. Somebody did a good job on that, starting her up. Aftermarket gauges all the way across the dash here. Got good oil pressure, water temperature still working its way up, tilt column. Place your bets, do you think the horn works? Game we like to play on the channel, tack. Just jumping up, gas gauge. A little over half a tank. Battery, it's charging. Blower motor, so we should have heat, is working. So is the one under the dash. Wipers, work. Turn signals, left side's blinking, right side is also blinking. Okay, what about the horn? Did you place your bets? Not there, but there's a button under here that it does work with. All right, it's time to hit the road. Let's take off. Okay, engine temperature's coming up on the dash here. We've already got gas, so we don't have to stop and get any. Here's reverse. And it is working back down into neutral and drive. Let's take off here. Anything I see you will know about it. This is the first time I've personally driven this ride. Speedometer's coming up on the dash there. It's got a good shift to it. It is pulling a little bit to the left. If I let go of the steering wheel and just let it do what it wants, I go over the dotted line for the left pull there. Kick down is hooked up. It shifts down, takes off. Got plenty of power in the brakes. Brakes feel okay. A little bit touchy when you start getting down into them. It feels like a stiff pedal and then all of a sudden you're stopping fast. So they are working. Looks like our engine temperature is up. Good oil pressure still around 55. some outside shots in this parking lot undercarriage stuff and then of course the detailed walk around going over chips scratches rust dents whatever there is i mean i'll point it out for you that's why i do these videos look below in the description a lot of important information and i'll be back
Okay, here we go. Heading on back to the lot. We got good oil pressure sitting at 30. We got good engine temperature sitting at 190. And y'all look pretty good on the head cam. Hopefully you checked out the description below. Got links to everything we use. Links to the lot. Let's roll here. into those brakes again they feel just fine This road here's got the speed bump in it. Be able to listen for any kind of shakes, rattles, or rolls. Of course, there's an 18-wheeler pulling out right there for some reason. I'll point it out. Bump's coming up. Not too bad. All right. So we're getting ready to pull back in the lot, guys. I hope you enjoyed this test drive. It was pretty fun. I'm gonna get out, get a little thumbnail picture. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Later, guys. Okay, let's walk around this ride. If there's any rust, dents, scratches, whatever there is, I'll let you know about it. Detailed pictures on our website at maplemotors.com. Let's get started. Coming around our front end here. The lower bumper's not bad, looks pretty good. And your headlights, not bad. Grill looks pretty good. Scratch on this side coming down. See it there. Been over. Little bubbles at the bottom of the door. A little hazy there. Stain in the paint at the bottom. Scuff here. Chips. chips there spot there on the door up and over you got some bubbles in the paint scratch back here back your midsection chips on the edge of that door chips here on the bottom Mirror, pretty good shape, not bad. Door handle looks good, chrome looks clean. Chips right there on the edge. Chrome looks good on that one too. Chips on the edge of this door. Chips in the back here. 
crack in the paint. Window looks pretty good. A little extra silicone there in the corner. Little light scratches on the window itself there. Little rust popping up on the pillar, cracks. Spot on top of the fender there. Front windshield on this one, not bad, looks pretty good. Trim, so looks good. Coming across the roof here. A line in it there. So it'll pop up. Then up on the back. Rear bumper on this one. It's pretty good. Crack there. A little light spot there in the paint. Chips up by the window. Light scratches on this window too. Let's see. Well. Thing. I don't think it's going to come down, so it's just spinning right now. Coming down this side. A little wax left over there. Little spot there. But over here, light little scuffs. A little scuff in the middle of the door there. At the bottom of the door. A little chip there. Chips on the edge. A couple little scratches there in the middle. Chips at the bottom. So there. Been over. There's a dent here in the front. scratch there door handle looks good mm. chips on the edge there some in the middle chips in the back corner gas caps off just a little bit looks like it's got sunk in on the top the way it's on there scratch in the back here some cracks up top. A silicone there. Chips on the edge. Chrome looks good. Seal around that window's in good shape. Chips there. Scuff on the front here on that edge. A little bubble in the paint. Pillar's a little wavy as you look down it. See how it's waving? Crack up there, chip. Front windshield, not bad. Small little chip there. Looks like a bird got us. Let's go ahead and check out the interior. Kind of want to see what's up with the back window, but I can't get it down right now. Let me try one thing. I'm sure this isn't going to work, but we're going to find out. I've seen that it had the keyhole back here. Usually it just locks it. That one ain't fitting. Neither's that one. Driver key. Nope. 
it's worth a shot, but you can see it's not going to help us any. Well, we do got this one that fits a little different here. Let's just check. This is the ignition. Ooh. So you got it turned that way. Hey, it was locked. So it does come down. Sweet. Now let's see what we got going on in here. I'm glad I checked that last key. That was the ignition key. It was worth checking out. Got some Panasonic house speakers in the back here. <laughs> thing is nice and clean let's come up with it and since it works let's lock it back <laughs> open the door interior on this one door panel has been replaced in your jam seats in good shape Headliner is awesome. Let's give it a little gas. the top of this console carpet's nice and clean fiberglass hood come on down with it little chips there scratch there on the back there on the hood. Little bubbles there. Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and share this video. Detailed pictures are at maplemotors.com and I hope you enjoyed it what I do every day. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you later.